Hello everyone and welcome to episode 54, I think, of Let's Play Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. In this episode, we're going to continue on with the quest line where we are trying to f trying to get Jolie's friend out of prison, see if he's innocent or not. Let's talk to the people in the hotel. Start by doing that because there's supposed to be a witness or two in here that we can talk to. Ignis, let's talk to Ignis. You are the one defending Sunmi now, huh? Well, the hotel's open for you. And I guess I gotta answer any questions you want, too. Tell me what you saw the night of the murder. The Sith woman, Alasa, rented a room in the hotel. An hour or two later, Sunri comes in and goes to her room. A couple hours later, I hear a blaster shot and see Sunri running. He can't run good because he's a cripple, but he still was going pretty fast. I would swear he started after the shot, though. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm pretty damn sure he left after the shot went off. Could it have gone off after no, he left? I don't think so. I mean, it's possible, just barely. But I wouldn't say that to the court. Persuade, you could testify it happened after he left. No, no way I'm lying to the court just because you want to get your Republic buddy off or whatever. I have no interest in going to prison. I'm gonna ask you something else. What do you want to know? What do you know about what do you know about Sunri and Elasa? Elasa used to rent rooms here every week or so. Then Sunri would come by a couple hours later and stay all night. It doesn't take a genius to figure out what was going on. Who are the witnesses in the hotel? There were only two other people in the hotel when it happened. One was a Rodian named Glupor. Seems like a really dirty, shifty type. Normally, I don't let his kind in here. I'm a reputable businessman, you know. But there weren't many people here, so I decided to take a chance. The other is a regular named Feareth Me. He's a Pazak player. Probably an addict, but he claims he's big in some circles. Don't know anything about him other than that. Anything else you want to know? I have no more questions oh, for now. Okay. If you need anything else, I'm going to be right here. Journal entry ad. Let's uh, see if we can't find. These witnesses. Here's an empty room. Uh... You with the cell, Kath? You here to see me about the murder, too? I told the damn fish everything I knew. What more do you all want from me? What do you know about Sunri and Alasa? Sunri, I only heard of once or twice in passing. Some sort of old time war hero against the Sith. Seen him around in the hotel, too. Going to Alasa's room always, of course. Kept the rest of the building up half the night with their damn antics, usually. You mean Sunri was having a relationship with Alasa? I'm not saying anything like that. What they did in that room, in private, is their business. And there isn't any rule against Sith and Republic seeing each other for personal reasons. Although, if you think her Sith Master didn't know, you must be fooling yourself. Sith Master? Oh, uh, well, Elasa was a Sith, so of course she'd have to have someone above her. Yeah, I, I didn't see anything. Persuade, what did you see? I didn't see anything, and there's no way you can make me say otherwise. Now quit asking. Let's see if this guy will talk for 100 credits. 100 credits isn't enough for the kind of trouble I'd be having if I told you. Sorry, you're going to have to look somewhere else. Hey, I'll ask you something else. What did you see? My room, minding my own business with the latest copy of Pazak Weekly. Checking out the listings for the big tournament that's going to be held here soon. When I heard a blaster shot. Being still alive and therefore smart enough not to stick my head out immediately, I didn't go out right away. I looked out after a minute and saw Glupor in the hall by Alas's room and Sunri running like the wind. You can't tell me that someone who was running like that, and he was pretty fast for a cripple, isn't guilty. I have nothing more to ask. Yes, well, I'll be right here. Not like they're letting me go anywhere else. 
Let's check this foot locker. 100 credits. Can't go in that room. Can't go in that room. Wait, can I go in it? Nope. Not going to give me the option to try to break in. Sakta Gloopor. I have questions. Uh, I have questions about the murder of Alasa. Why were you at the hotel? What did you see? What about Alasa's room? Persuade, did someone pay you to do something in that room, Glupor? Okay, so that's uh, let's talk to him some more. Do you know anything about the Selkath youth have gone missing? Let's ask about the star maps. Any more questions later? Okay, so somebody planted the metal. So Gloopor planted the metal in his room. You again. Didn't I tell you people everything I knew? So why do you keep coming back to me? Sunri, I only heard of once or kept the rest of the b Yes, she rented a room every week or so. Coincidentally, it was right about the same time that Sunri would show up. They didn't seem all that discreet either. I'm not saying anything. And there isn't any rule against... Oh. I didn't see... 100... Thanks. Yes. Okay. So somebody planted the metal, and that guy knows something he's not You're telling us. You're the one defending. Well, okay. Let's go talk to Sunri. We do. You, Jedi, I hear you are investigating the Sunri murder trial. This case is not at all what it appears to be. The many currents, might I say, flow beneath the surface. What do you mean? This murder is much more complicated than it may first appear. The Sunri and Elasa are proxies for their governments, and both sides want the other to fail. You can see the journey uh, by the footprints. You understand, yes? 
Huh? I'm saying they both had something to do with it. They've both kept their hands in this from the start. If you want to get to the bottom of this murder, you might seek information from both the Sith and the Republic, likely in their embassies. They'll just give it to me? No, of course not. You think state secrets are for sale on the common market? You would have to be devious to get what you want. Heed my advice, Jedi, and you may yet find the truths in this murder. Okay. Well, I'll go back to the Republic Embassy. So I want to talk to... Sonry real quick, because... I want to see if he has anything more to say. Hey, Trevor, how's it going? Ah, glad to hear it. Hey, this stuff's all for the Republic Embassy, so can you just bill it to them? I always shop here. Tyvark's prices are the best in the city. Let's see if Tyvark knows anything. I think I'll be going now. Okay. Guess I don't get to talk to him about it. Let's... Where the fuck is Sonry? I don't exactly remember. I'll go this way. West Central Courtyard. Okay, public soldier. I can't stop to talk to tourists. I'm on Colto packing duty. Oh, where is he? I don't remember. This isn't it. Not right now. There are a lot of people in this game that exist solely for the purpose of playing Pazog against. He's obviously one of them. I mentioned in uh, the last set of episodes that I now have a PlayStation 4. Oh, docking bay. We're going backwards. Yeah, I now have a PlayStation 4, and I've had a, quite a, a fair amount of experience with it at this point. And I can say that I've thoroughly enjoyed the console. Like, this is a much better, like, vastly improved console from the PlayStation 3, which. I love the PlayStation 3, but I'll be lying to be lying through my teeth if I didn't say it doesn't have some problems. The controller isn't the greatest. I mean, it's still like comfortable to hold except for the triggers. The triggers suck on it. 
Um, the interface isn't the greatest either, and it's slow. Like, it takes forever to load anything in. They fixed all three of those with that. And then they, they did more than just fix the controller, though. I mean, th this is... Uh, prior to the PlayStation 3 controller, prior to the place, prior to this, the my favorite controller of all time was the DualShock 2 from the PlayStation 2. And this was pretty much going to replace that because it's just so comfortable to hold and feels just perfect in your hand. And I absolutely love it. Um... I'm just way impressed with this. Uh, like, it's snappy. It's fast. It's all around very, very impressive. Oh, it's you. I probably should cut back, but I don't really want... What is there to investigate? Obviously, Sanri is guilty, but the Republic is doing everything they can to keep him out of a Selkaf prison. But I don't really want to talk about that right now. I'm just here to have a couple of drinks. Oh, oh, come on. What's the map? Seems I'm not... Um... I really Clear like out. the re... Clear out. The cramp. I really like the redesigned, um... Interface. It's much, much better on... It's better looking. And it's easier to use than the previous... And the one on a PlayStation 3. It's just a vast improvement over that, and I like it a lot. Jolly! Coming to soon, old friend. Oh, I grow. Go ahead, ask. We, uh, I don't know what this must look like, yes. Yes, we were having an affair. I know it was wrong, but I'm a weak man. Alasa was beautiful and young. How was I to resist her charms? But I didn't kill her. I loved her. Please. I know I made a terrible mistake getting involved with Alasa, but I was going there to break it off with her. I did it, but found out later that she was dead. I don't deserve to go to jail just for having an affair, do I? You have to help me prove that I wasn't the killer. Let's see, uh, can we say anything else? There's a few Go things. Ahead, we... ahead. There's a Rodian who planted evidence of the murder scene. A Rodian? I didn't know there were any Rodians on Manan. Oh, except for Tybark and this one named Glupar who was hanging around the hotel all the time. Okay, so. Maybe there are a whole bunch of Rodians on Manan. But what does that matter? If he planted evidence at the scene, it's a clear sign of a frame-up. He probably took all the evidence of the real killer at the same time. The evidence of a Sith conspiracy keeps getting stronger, doesn't it? I suspect there's still stuff you want to clear up. Go ahead, ask. Ask what you need to. I've got nothing to hide. Second like thought, I want to ask something else. Very well. Once you've gotten enough evidence to go. Okay, so we uh, got the truth out of him about the affair. Huh? When I. So that's a start. Let's go to. Let's return to the Sith Embassy. I hear you. I started seeing Alasa last year. I I had my suspicions for a while, but he was careless. Pretty soon everyone knew. But even though I'm sure that Harlot was only using him, I know he couldn't have killed her. He came and confessed to the affair to me. He said he was going to, there to break it off, to end it. Maybe the Sith woman attacked him, and he had to defend himself. But even though he cheated on me, inside he's still the man I loved. Love. He's too kind and gentle to have killed her in cold blood. That was a long time ago. 
in a war far, far away. He's changed now. Settled down. Oh, just please, prove his innocence. Don't worry, I'll save him. Find the real evidence. That's all I ask. The real evidence will prove Sunri didn't do this. We're working on it. Need to go back to the hotel so I can go to the the embassy. Because um, the guy said to go to the embassy and do some investigating because there's something up with this. And I imagine... I imagine the higher-ups found out about, on both sides, probably found out about the affair, and they were none too happy about it. Anyway, yeah, I'm really impressed with the PlayStation 3. I'm PlayStation 4 so far, and I want to, I'm seriously considering putting together a, re well, I, I guess I would, you would say a review of it, of the system itself and all its many features and stuff like that. I'm not 100% sure that I'm going to, but I'm thinking about it. Uh, capturing footage from it is actually going to be really easy because I can just capture footage directly from the console itself and then just upload them. Directly to my YouTube account. Oh, and my FS Metal YouTube account by the time this goes up, I should finally get rid of the copyright strike that I got on that particular channel, so I'm pretty excited about that. Happy to be able to upload videos longer than 15 minutes again. That 15 minute time limit, that gets, that gets old real quick, man. Although I usually don't upload stuff that's that long to it. What's this over here? I don't remember my way around this planet all that well. East Courtyard, I need to find a hotel. Because right across from the hotel is the embassy. I need to... I've got two videos planned right... In the planning stages right now. One of them is the PlayStation 4 video that I am st still considering doing. I'm kind of planning it out in my head how I want it to go. And the other... Welcome to Manan. I'm Roland Wan. As the official representative of the Republic Embassy on this planet, I'm here to help all citizens of the Republic should they require aid. Why are your soldiers loading so much Kalto? Kalto is a precious resource. Its healing powers are near miraculous. During times of war, Kalto becomes even more valuable. As long as we have the permits, we will continue to harvest Kalto and ship it to our Republic soldiers battling against the Sith. Of course, the Sith enjoy the very same privileges. If there was some way we could gain an edge over the Sith and our Kolto supply. But the Selkath are fiercely protective of their neutrality in this conflict. They do not want to grant either side an advantage. I have some questions about Otto City. A beautiful place, Otto City. A paradise on the water. But remember, within the city itself, the Selkath have absolute authority. They're a tough race, but fair. Obey the Selkath laws, keep the peace, and you should encounter no problems. I assume you received a visitor guide to the city when you docked your ship. I regret there is little I can tell you that's not in the visitor guide, my good Jedi. My duties rarely permit me to venture beyond the walls of the Republic Embassy. I am on a mission to Jedi Council. Perhaps you can help with it? Oh, of course. Of course I'll do whatever I can. But I'm only a simple diplomatic representative of the Republic. I doubt I can be of any use to the Jedi Council. I seek a star map, remnant of an ancient and forgotten race. An ancient and forgotten race. And you think it may be here on Manan? Hmm. You know something? Well, perhaps. But if you want to get information about that, you'll have to do something for me first. 
What do you need me to do? We were using a submersible reconnaissance droid in the ocean surrounding Otto City, and it was damaged. It took a data recording of the outside of the city before being driven off by the Faraxan sharks. But while it was returning to the surface, it encountered difficulties and was disabled. Its automatic systems floated it to the surface, but we could not retrieve it in time. The Sith were applying subtle pressure to the Selkath authorities for some reason we've not determined, and were able to delay us long enough that they could retrieve the droid before we did. The droid's data centers are heavily encrypted, so it will take the Sith several days, we believe, to get to its data. It was captured 12 hours ago. It is imperative that we get it back. Where is the droid? It's heavily guarded, we're sure, in the Sith Embassy here on Manan. Since we have no remaining soldiers to spare, and certainly not our elite ones, we have no one capable of entering the Sith base and retrieving it. That is what we would ask you to do. How do I get in the Sith base? There are several leads we've been working on to get into the Sith base. Any of them should work for you, although it might be wise to concentrate your efforts on just one. The first method that's possible is to help us interrogate a Sith prisoner we managed to catch after he tried to infiltrate our base. He's being held just inside our enclave. We think he may be able to give us the passcode that the Sith give their informers to enter the base. He has proved most resilient so far. Interrogating prisoner sounds good. Good. It's a logical place to start. But you should also hear about the other options available to you. We managed to pick up a crate of blank Sith data cards, the type they use for pass cards. The encryption system to unlock them is very difficult, however. But if you are more skilled than our technicians, you may be able to gain access that way. Is there another way? The Sith have got the Seltcalf to give them exclusive use of one of the main hangar bays. Visiting Sith Masters use this bay to land, then take a speeder over the water to an external entrance to the Sith Enclave. The luckless spy we mentioned earlier had a pass card to that hangar on him. While it is surely well guarded, it may prove to be the most direct route. Here's the card. The Sith base itself is very heavily guarded. If they became aware of your presence, I fear you would be quickly outnumbered and killed. Here is a pass card to get you inside our facility. You should find all you need to get started in there. You can choose whichever of the methods you want, as long as you get in the base and get the data recording back. Which method do you think you would like to try first? Let's try interrogating the prisoner. Good call. Just make sure you don't push him too hard or we might lose him. I wish you luck in your task. Should you retrieve the data recording from the droid, return it here to me, and we can see about getting you that information. Okay, let's talk to him one more time. Have you managed to ret No, I haven't. Time is a critical... Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and call it here. Thank you everybody for watching this episode of Let's Play Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Please like, comment, and subscribe down below. That would be greatly appreciated. We'll talk to you guys next time. Thanks everybody and goodbye.